<laughs> Boy, I like a nice ginger, don't you? <laughs> well, he needs a redhead. Yeah, exactly. I don't know, folks. I am the Mighty Plantain, and this is Boosh. You know him well. He's back around. Last time we did a ginger beer together, it didn't work out so well. They weren't. Uh, they weren't very. Yeah, they weren't very. Was it or was it really the ginger ale hard? No, uh, no. I'm malted, talking about the malted stuff. Wild ginger, ginger ginger beer. Yeah. Um, the hard been. ginger ale was pretty decent. That was from uh, Not Your Father's. Um, this, I'm thinking back to the wild ginger, ginger beer, which was very, very spicy ginger. It was yes. so cloying. Yes, I remember that now, yes. It had a burn to it, but it wasn't even yep. a pleasant burn. It was just bleh. Um So anyway, I posted a little bit of that as I was uh, talking about it. Excuse me. If you want to check that one out. Um, so we're going to try another... Another ginger beer. This is Bantam ginger beer. It's made in Massachusetts. 5.5% ABV and it says it's smooth and spicy. And who knows, depending on how this one works out, we might do a video with the two head to head. Well, that is very light. Almost does look like a ginger ale, actually. Yeah. It's a little bit more orangish. There's a bit of an orange tinge to it, which might be why they went with the orange label, or they might uh, they might just have orange labels all together. I, no, I can actually smell that right from here. I can smell a little <laughs> bit of it. It's very light, very clear. Um, it's quite bubbly, even though I wasn't able to put a decent head on it. It's it's looking more like, like you said, it looks a lot like a ginger ale. Not yeah. just in the coloring consistency, but also mm. in the way the bubbles are behaving. Yep. Hmm. But you're right. You can you can smell the ginger right in that. You can smell the ginger, but you can't, it's it's not, I won't, it's not uh, cloying or, or uh, uh, yeah, it's not over. It's not as prevalent as the other one. Yeah, the other one's just overwhelming. Uh, looks like Bantam usually makes ciders, so that could be could be why it's not. Uh, it might have a little bit more of a handle on things here. Six point five. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, that's nice and sweet. Yeah, it's BantamCider.com. Yeah. And that's really the only information they have, just where they, who they are. Yeah, I just have to look it up at some point. But yeah, there's this nice and sweet. There's a nice tinge of ginger to it. And there's yeah. actually a little bit of a burn. Bantam alcoholic. Yep. Yeah, we're alcoholic. All right. Uh, no question <laughs> there. So we're most first, of the people watching, first, I assume. First name <laughs> Al. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is a completely different experience from that wild ginger. And it's just, it is smooth. And it's got a little bit of a ginger kick to it. But it's not cloying or overwhelming. It's just kind of there. Honestly, it's Almost. a lot like an alcoholic ginger ale. Sorry, I cut you off. What are you saying? No, I'm still trying to think of how you can describe it. Hmm. Well, I would describe it's, it as flat now because it didn't take long to go pretty flat. No, it is actually <laughs> pretty flat. I think they actually did that on purpose, though. Could be. Because it, it tastes more like a... To me, it tastes more like a cider, in a way. It might be the sweetness there that's yes. leading you down that path. Because I, I noticed a good sweetness to it right off, right off the bat. I'm path. wondering if they actually used one of their... Uh, they do ciders. I was kind of wondering if they actually used one of their basic cider. Oh, like because you can taste gingered up a cider. See what I'm what I'm actually tasting is a little hint of apple. Hmm. It's a certain apple flavor that I'm kind of getting. It's not. It's almost like they took. A very tiny bit of, I like an apple cider to use as a base. Maybe I'm not. I'm not picking up on any real apple. I'm just kind of getting the. It, but I think that's where the sweetness. sweetness yeah. The sweetness is coming from, and I'm getting. To me, I'm getting that little bit of an apple, very, very, 
very, very subtle cider taste. Mm. See, I'm not picking up on any of that, but, but it is a nice departure. From it a might lot be of in the process of where they did it too. Maybe, could be. Because um, I'm kind of wondering, they might have actually, they might have actually taken the ginger and squeezed it, hmm. and pressed well, it like a cider. Chances are, if you're set up for a cider operation, you're going to do some similar, you know, use a similar process. Um, but yeah, overall, I, as a departure from regular beers, I gotta hit this yes, with a three. Yes, this is and a half actually a very. This is I, I'd actually hit this with a four. Really? So you're enjoying it a lot more than I am. It is. It is actually hitting me. I'm get like I said, I'm getting that little bit of an apple flavor, but I'm also thinking you're getting that that ginger as well. There's a mm-hmm. lot of ginger in it. I can yeah. tell. You can see that. There's a lot of ginger in it. Yeah, and as I'm getting further into it, I'm actually getting the spiciness and the burn. Yes. That I was expecting, but um, still way more muted than the other one we had. The only thing I think that they could do, what they could do to improve this a little bit, is put a little bit of a, to make it more of a beer, put a little bit of a hop profile into it. Would be interesting to see this hopped probably with something that has really something your that's not notes. right, something yeah. like a centennial. It would complement it really well. Would complement it very well. Yeah. Well, maybe not, even going, but earthy. not not might making even be able it to go earthy with the nut hops. Not making and and not making it overall hoppy. Just putting yeah. that little under note into it. Just something that'll come through in the finish and give it a yeah. bit of a bitterness. Yeah. Ooh, pardon. It might introduce a new level of complexity as well. See, the way this actually is acting is acting more like a wine, the way it, yeah, it's the way it looks now, quick. the way it's settled and everything. It's kind of more like a wine or a cider. <laughs> mm-hmm. But overall, not bad. Um, definitely a departure from regular beer. Yes, and it is. Definitely. It's, very, a, it's definitely something to try. Yeah. And a much better experience than the, the wild ginger that we had before, whatever that other ginger beer was. Yeah. <clears throat> Pardon. So, like I said, we might just go and uh, grab some more of those and put these two head to head and do a side by side comparison in another video later on down the line. Um, but until then, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to hit us up down below with a like and a share, and also subscribe. That way, you'll get a notification every time a new video is posted. Hit us up in the comments or the email link down below. Let us know what you thought about the ginger beer from Bantam if you've had it. Uh, maybe you picked up on something we didn't. Maybe you know a little bit more than we do. Or maybe we'll do some research and come back knowing more about it. Yep. Until the next time, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers. Keep drinking. And it's going to go away. <sighs> it's going to go away temporarily. <laughs> we'll see it again later. Or at least you will. I ain't watching yep. that. Yep.